All right, so I know this area is a giant mess, but that's just because I was moving around a bunch of stuff just now and decided that this would be the best time to start filming. So I'm planning to turn this shelf and the shelf into enclosures um, for Moko and George who are in this 20 gallon tall enclosure temporarily um, just until we have the enclosures built. They're probably going to be done in a couple days, but I thought I'd show you the process. So basically I have to take all tweezers, take all of the stuff in all of these bins in every single one out and find space down here somewhere. That bin is actually going to be gone because that's mostly stuff for George's container, or George's enclosure, sorry. And then that can be moved and this is like my shipping supplies and shipping materials for like my shop. Um, and then I have some of my feeders right there. So I just need to find a way to organize all of these six bins down here somewhere. So that's going to be kind of tough. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. And then I'll get back and show you the next step. So I thought I should show you a little bit more detail of what's in each bin, even though this is not part of the process of building the enclosures. I just thought might as well. So in here, I actually have some scrubbings for Onyx's enclosure. Some calcium is actually in here um, for dusting. That's my multivitamin dusting. I have some calcium and multivitamins, some trash bags over here. Um, this sample wood thing that I'm going to be doing, this is kind of, I'm thinking about putting this in the enclosure, something like this. So... And then I got my vitamins for Onyx from Gotham Geckos. And then in this one I have some insect supplies. So I have sifters, um, egg cartons, scissors, toilet paper rolls, and some quick cricket quencher. And this one I have a 2 to 10 gallon internal power filter by Tetra. I haven't used it. Um, I don't have a 210 gallon tank. I got this a while ago thinking it would fit in the one I have, but then I decided I don't want it and I just didn't want to return it, so I just kept it. And then I have this same thing, daytime heat lamp. I did the exact same thing with this. I thought I got the right one, so basically I wanted to get this. I ran out of a bulb and I just wanted to get something to just have a black light. But I ended up getting this because there was nothing available, and then I realized that I couldn't use this because this is 150 watts, and I only need 75 watts, so I didn't use this. I just have it, and I guess I just use it for, like, I don't even know what I use it for. Find something for it. And then I just have an old Cricut container, and actually my scale goes in there as well. And then I have in here some of my fish supplies, so I have... Some nets and scrubbers and other scrubbing things, some more rocks, filters, filters, beta fish food, um, my Melifix, some more old beta fish food, and then over here I have just some old dishes. I have some no ski dishes, glass dishes. Um, these were my old calcium dishes until I started making my own, which are on my shop in my Instagram account, link down below. So I have more of those. I have these dishes that are from my tortoise that I just decided I want to keep. And then dishes I got Moko in. And the shelves are empty, by the way. They're empty. And I do have this hole drilled in here. This These shelves are super old. Hey. Okay, well, this is for my beta fish. I just, I guess I lost it. So hold on. Let me turn the flash. And there's actually a hole drilled back here. So, what I'm thinking about doing is actually repeating the same thing on this shelf, drilling a hole, and um, kind of running the cord of my heat pad back there, and doing the same on the side, but running it on the opposite side, so I can plug it in 
and then I'm gonna tape this up and probably probably put a background over here because I'm gonna have to do some nailing as well because this thing lips out and I can stick my fingers right here so I'm gonna have to do some nailing but that's not a big deal I can do that update I got the shelves emptied and the bins kind of organized I don't even know what I'm doing at this point um so basically the back of these oh why are you focusing on my finger the back of these boards bend in like they push out so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take all the gecko shelves off I mean all the geckos tanks off of the marble sorry I'm really tired and screw them in and then I have to silicone all the edges and then I have to um, I have to screw this thing in because this is loose but basically that is all I'm gonna do for tonight I did quite a lot um, and yeah next step is to go to the hardware store pick up our silicone and our acrylic and our what else I don't even know at this point the stuff that's gonna go in there um, I might pick up some LED lights because I'm looking at it without light like right now I have the flash on my camera so that's why it looks so bright see so you can see the like globe um, but I will turn it off right now so you guys can see what it actually looks like so this is what it looks like without the flash and it is crazy dim and I actually want to see my geckos and right now I have like all of my lights on in my room so can't even see inside So I'm home and I just put the acrylic, so I have the acrylic cut and I put it up to the shelf and realized that the measurements were wrong. Um, they were actually right, but the guy cut it the wrong way. So it was, the one I got was 28 inches long by, 28 inches long by 30 inches and he flipped it and basically it's 30 inches long instead of 28 and I need it to be 28 so I'm gonna go back tomorrow and have them cut it to the correct length and I might actually take a little bit off the top so it's a little bit shorter because it's a little bit too tall um I mean I want it to have like a little divot so and then I have just like a scrap piece because I had three pieces cut from that. The acrylic was um, $18. $18.01 cent for all of that. I also got these shelf liners for the cage as well. I got this rose pattern. And then this like marbly kind of pattern. I don't even know, but I got those. I got, let me sit down, I can show you, I got some command hooks, um, this is a medium command hook, I got two medium command hooks, and we're gonna use that to put, basically we're gonna take it and put it on the door like that so we can have something to open it. I also picked up these self-adhesive hooks from my dollar store, so you guys can actually see that. You can use these as well. The next thing is that um, I'm going to nail in the shelf 
and silicone it today. And then tomorrow I'm going back and getting those cut to the right dimensions. And then get some more substrate stuff and maybe some lighting as well. If not, then I'll do that later on in the process, maybe after they're moved. Okay, so... You want, okay, you can kind of see over here. I siliconed all the edges and I tried to silicone this thing. I did my best. It's not going to be sealed completely, but it's good enough. Um, I did not seal this. I thought this was fine. It's not even like in there anyways, so I just left that alone. And I did that to both shelves. So, yeah. Now we wait till tomorrow. And the next step is to go tomorrow and get the um, acrylic cut once again. Cages are completely done and so this is George's cage and this is Moko's and basically what I did was I added these bumpers and put the acrylic between them I actually added two on this one because this acrylic is a little bit too short I did one on this one because it was fine I added command hooks right in the middle for easy access to the cage I put um, shelf liner contact paper in the back on both of the cages. I did make them hammocks, which if you want to buy a hammock for me, link to my Instagram in the bio. I actually make hammocks for leopard geckos, bearded dragons, and crested geckos as well. And we put this piece of wood, this one is taped, this one's not. But we put this piece of wood all the way across um, so we can put our substrate, which we use the Eco Earth coconut fiber. Um, we also got a bunch of flowers from Michael's and put that there. Um, we have their calcium dishes, which I make. There's one of them that's a blue one. Um, again, if you want one of those, it, they will be on my Instagram. Again, link in the bio. And up there, we drilled some holes for air access. We do have some tiles down as well. We have some in this one as well. And that's the purple calcium dish over there. Um, and the water bowl. And then we have some flowers in this one, the hammock. This one, actually, I bought this geometric cube thingy that I really liked. I bought it from like an antique store or something and I just put some moss in it and a flower and I'm going to use that for like a moist hide but basically that's it we don't have um we don't have heat pads in it right now because we're waiting for our thermostats to arrive but once those arrive we are going to go ahead and put our heat pads in and 
those are the finished enclosures for our leopard geckos and there's George just being weird and then there's Moko laying in his calcium dish as always um, and we also have these LED lights that I added that I got from don't mind the door it's dusty somehow I got these LED lights from Home Depot so yeah and basically okay let me show you how these doors come off so let me show you with this one so you want to lift and then it just it comes out so it's just like a it comes out type of thing and to put it back in you want to center this with this one and then put it behind this one and then put it behind that one and in front of that one and again we have air holes in these two but that is basically it this cage total without the substrate and the flowers just building the cage itself took about 23 bucks and then the coconut fiber was about 11 bucks and the flowers i think were i don't even know they were half off so it was not that bad but total it was probably for all of this about 40 bucks which i think for two cages is a really good deal so if you guys want to build this or recreate this make sure you use the hashtag Gracie's Geckos um, on your Instagram post so I can take a look at it and yeah thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style sort of building video stay tuned for the next one